Hello, my name is Jerry Gerritsen, Tabia Law. I want to talk quickly tonight about uh, fiancé visas versus consular processing. And uh, so here's the deal. person falls in love, they want to uh, get married, and uh, it's a U.S. citizen or a legal permanent resident, a, a person with a green card, and uh, their, uh, their fiancé, person they want to, uh, they're engaged to, they, they want to marry is in a different country. And so here's the question. Uh, do you go to that country and marry them there? And, um, and then uh, go ahead and go through the process of uh, immigration, if that's what you're going to do, uh, or have them come here and marry them here. And same thing. Uh, so, uh, of course, basic immigration law, a uh, family-based marriage uh, green card uh, is where uh, an immediate relative of a U.S. citizen or a legal permanent resident or a green card holder, uh, the uh, the uh, beneficiary or the petitioner, the uh, U.S. citizen or the LPR, can sponsor uh, his new wife or husband, and uh, so that's 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 the idea it's the easiest quickest way for folks to become uh, to get the green card and uh, so of course there's a lot of fraud that's uh, uh, that occurs there as a result but we're not talking about that tonight we're just talking about what's the easy what's the quickest way or, or let's just say there, there's just two different ways of doing it okay so let's just say uh, the the person the a non-American is uh, in another country and they really want to get married in their home country. Okay, fine. You can do that. However, you will not be able to do the fiancé visa. So the fiancé visa is for folks that are not married yet and uh, you, uh, you sponsor them, you bring them over from the other country uh, to get married here in the United States. And once the fiancé visa, the K-1, is approved and they come over, then you're required to get married in the first 90 days. Then you can start your the green card process if that's what you want to do. If she wants to become or he or she, whoever the beneficiary or the applicant is, if they want to get the green card, then you start the process at that time. Um, and here's the good news about the fiance visa. Uh, when they come over, they don't have to leave. They can stay and you can process a green card right here in the United States. Uh, the, now, the consular processing, the other route, uh, the other way of doing it, you, you don't stay. They don't come out at all in, until they get the green card. So what happens there is you go to their country, you get married there, and then they stay there. And then you can do, you can process it. You do all the, um, the paperwork and stuff, but they have to stay in their country until they go to their local uh, U.S. embassy or consulate and uh, do the interview and get the green card and come here. The timing, generally right now, the fiance visa can, can be quick. Well, let's just say the consular processor, uh, processing is quicker to get your actual green card. But the difference is, is that it's generally faster to, to get the fiance visa, the K-1, get them here. And yeah, it takes longer to do the, um, the adjustment of status to get the green card. However, they're here. The, the, the spouses are together. They don't have to be apart. Whereas with the consular processing, you're here, she or he is there, and you're not together during that time. Uh, even though uh, technically, uh, the uh, getting the green card part of it is quicker because you're not even doing the fiance. You're not even worrying about that. You're not doing the K-1 because you're staying in country and you're just going straight to uh, the I-130 and then the uh, uh, DS-260 there. Um, so that's a quicker process. However, you're separated for, during that time. So two different ways of doing it. Let me go ahead and do our verse uh, of the day and then we'll be done. I want to read out of... Uh, 1 Samuel 19, 1, and the Bible says, And Saul spake to Jonathan, his son, and to all his servants, that they should kill David. All right, thank you so much. We'll talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.